Hi everyone, this is Hello Injedo Design. Today I am going to show you how to make a nursing pillow or breastfeeding pillow. This is how it might look once you have done making. It's an easy tutorial step by step. Please watch our video until the end so that you don't miss anything out. Please support us by subscribing, comment, like the video. The more you like the video, the more YouTube push us out to the algorithm. Please always like the video and share the video. And please also follow us on all social media platforms at Hello Angel or Design Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, Hello Angel or Design. And you can also follow us or support us on our website, www.helloangel.design. And let's get started. First thing that you have to do, you have to prepare your fabric. This is my fabric. I have two fabric right here and I have my zipper and I have already made my pattern paper. So this is how my pattern paper look. If you don't know how to make this pattern paper, I will take a full picture of this pattern paper and then I will post it on my video. Or I will also post it on my community page. First thing that you have to do, you pin your pattern paper on your fabric. Before you pin your pattern paper on your fabric, make sure that your fabric is on fold. This side of my fabric is on fold while the rest side are raw edges. When you are pinning your pattern paper, you can see this edge right here. Make sure that this side of the pattern, you put it on fold. All you are going to do, you take your pin, you just pin it all around the lining. Once I am done pinning, I will take my scissors and I will cut it out. Make sure that when you are cutting, you are going to cut two pieces of this fabric. The next thing that you have to do, you are going to fold your main fabric into two. I have folded mine into two. This side is the fold side, while the rest side are raw edges. And when you are pinning your pattern paper, this side, make sure that is on fold side. So you just place it and you go ahead and pin it all around. As you can see right here, I only fold the fabric into two because we are going to also cut two pieces for this fabric. When we are cutting the next pieces, I'm going to show you how to cut that out because we are going to cut that out differently. So what you are going to do, pin it on your fabric, go ahead and cut this out. The next thing that you have to do, you fold your second fabric. When you are pinning your pattern paper on your fabric, what you are going to do, this line right here, you are going to fold it inside. You fold it inside like this and you pin your pattern paper all around. Remember to add your zipper seam allowance. So I will pin my pattern paper like this on my fabric. Make sure that this side when you're pinning it is also on fold. And you just go ahead and pin it all around. Once you have done pinning, take your scissors, cut it out. The next thing that I'm going to do, I will just take my paper scissors and I will cut this out. This is where we fold it inside when we are cutting the second pieces. I will just go ahead and cut it out. I can always tape it together later on. I have cut it out. This is how it is. This is what we need. We don't need the rest of the pattern paper. So what I'm going to do, I will take my fabrics. This is the leftover fabric. I will pick it like this. Remember that this side is always on fold. You place it on your fabric. You are going to pin it all around. Once you have done pinning, remember to add your zipper seam allowance on this bottom edge. This is the top edge of the pattern while this is the bottom edge. So my seam allowance is going to be 1.5 centimeter. So I will go ahead and pin it all around. Once I am done pinning, I will add my seam allowance and then I will cut it out.
Before we start putting the nursery uh, pillow together, what you are going to do, place your lining on your cotton batting. If you don't have a cotton batting, you can also use the other kind, which is synthetic. The one that I have here is 100% cotton. So I just pin it on my cotton batting. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. I have cut out my fabric. This is how it is. I cut out a piece of fabric. All you have to do, the width is centimeter, the length is centimeter. You just go ahead and curve it out. This is how I make this. And you cut four pieces. And I also cut out a strap. So I'm going to tell you the length of my strap. I'll place my measuring tape like this. The length of my strap is 16 and a half inch. If you're using centimeter, you can measure 42 centimeter. And the width of my strap is seven and a half centimeter. If you're using inches, you can measure three inch. So this is how I cut it out. Make sure you cut two pieces, it's right here. And the next thing is my fabric, which I have cut that out. So let's put the breastfeeding pillow together. I have cut out my binding. This is how it is. I just placed my lining on top of it. So what you are going to do, you take the second pieces of your lining, you place it on top of each other like this. You can see the way I place it, lining, lining together while the binding is at the bottom of the lining. The next thing that you have to do, this is the center crease of this fabric. So what you are going to do, you place your measuring tape, you measure seven and a half centimeter on this side, seven and a half centimeter on the other side. If you're using inches, measure three inch on this side, three inch on this other side, you will have six inches. So this is the gap that you're going to leave open so that you can be able to turn the fabric inside out. I have top stitch it together. This is how it look and this is my open gap right here. And I take my scissors, I just snip all around the curved edge. Make sure you should do the same on this other side. What we are going to do, we are going to turn our fabric inside out from here. Once you turn it inside out, take it to your ironing board and give it a good press. We cannot add our stuffing inside. I have ironed my fabric around. This is how it is. What I'm going to do, I will just go ahead and start adding my stuffing inside from here. You add it, you put it in all around your baby breastfeeding pillow. I have put my stuffing inside, this is how it is. And this is the open gap. I just use my pin to secure them together. What you are going to do, take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. I have given it a top stitch. This is how it is once you have done that. The next thing that you have to do, you put this, you put it aside. The next thing that you have to do, you open your male fabric. So this is my male fabric. And this is the smaller pieces that we cut out. And this is my 1.5 centimeter seam allowance I have already measured. And you take your zipper, you fold it into two like this so that you know the center crease of your zipper. I already have the center crease of my fabric. So what you are going to do, you place your zipper like this. I will just go ahead and open my zipper. You place your zipper like this. Make sure the center crease of the zipper is matching the center crease of your May fabric. I will just secure this with a pin like that. And you just go ahead and pin it all around the fabric. Once you have done pinning, take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. The way I usually stitch my zipper, once I am done pinning, I will thread my needle 
use hand stitch to secure it first before taking it to my sewing machine and top stitch. When you are pinning it on this side and then turn your zipper like this, make sure that the mat is inside your fabric and you make sure that the center crease of your zipper and the center crease of your fabric are matched. You just go ahead and secure that with a pin Pin it all the way down. Once you have done pinning, you can either thread your needle and use hand stitch to stitch it first or take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. Once you have done that, then you take your strap. What you are going to do, you fold it into two. You have a center crease. You fold this other side into the center crease. You fold this other side into the center crease. And then you fold it again. This is how it will look. What you are going to do before you start stitching these raw edges, you fold it inside like this. And then you fold it again. And you take it to your sewing machine and give it a straight stitch. And you also repeat the same process on this other strap. Once you have done that, you take the pieces that I have cut out. You just put them into two like this. You go ahead and top stitch it all around. Once you have done stitching, take your scissors, snip around the curved edge, turn it inside out and give it a good press. And also repeat the same process on this other side. I have stitched my zipper in place. This is how it look once you have done that. And this is how the inside of the zipper look. You, you can also go ahead and overlock the raw edges. I'm going to use zigzag stitches to overlock the raw edges. And I've also stitched this pouch all around and I turn it inside. I give it a good press and I take it to my sewing machine for the second time and I top stitch it all around. This is how it look. And I've also stitched my strap together. This is how it is. The next thing that you have to do, this pouch right here, you are going to place it at this side of the zipper. So you just place it like this and then you pin it in place. So once you have pinned that in place, the next thing that you have to do, you are going to take the second pieces, you are going to put it on top of each other like this you pin it on top of each other all around the fabric i have pinned my nursing pillow all around this is how it look once you have done that when you are pinning make sure to open your zipper halfway so that you can be able to turn it inside out so i'm just going to show you how it look once i am done pinning and i've also pinned this side all around the next thing that we have to do, we are going to attach our trap inside this nursing pillow that we are making. All you have to do, you open it like this. You pick one of your strap, make sure that side that will hem inside, you push it inside and the raw edges will be facing this side. You just push it inside like this. You just push it inside and Take a pin to secure that. Once you secure it with a pin, and then you just continue, you continue pinning it all around, and then you come down to this other side, you repeat the same process. Once you have done pinning, all you have to do, you cover it all over again, and you just continue pinning all around. Once you have pinning all together, the next thing that you have to do, you take it to your sewing machine, you top stitch all around the nursing pillow. I 
have given it a tough stitch all around and I overlock it with my zigzag stitches. This is how it is. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to open our zipper and turn it inside out. All you have to do, open your zipper and turn it inside out. Once you have done doing that, take it to an ironing board and give it a good press. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to take our nursing pillow that we put the stuffing inside. We are going to put it inside this May fabric right here. So all you have to do, open your zipper, push it in and zip it all around. I will show you the final look of my once I am done doing that. This is the final look of my nursing pillow or breastfeeding pillow. See how that is? It's beautiful step-by-step -step tutorial. Please subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below if you have any question and I will do my best to respond to you. Follow us on all social media platform at helloangel.design, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, Facebook, helloaj.design. Thank you all so much for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.